Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how I do my planning. It is the 1st of August, so this is a really good time to show you how I do my monthly, weekly and daily planning because I usually do the monthly planning the day before the new month starts, um, although it's not too late to do it today, so um, I'm going to show you it. Um, I do. I usually do my weekly planning on a Sunday night, but it's Saturday, but it doesn't really matter as long as I get it done, that's the most important thing. So, uh, this is my A6 planner. I really love it and it's working really well for me and I've, I've concentrated on setting it up so that I can then concentrate on other things. Once I've got it finally set up I hope it's just going to work for me effortlessly, although obviously I'm going to have to put in my time and effort in making it work on a day-to-day -day basis and then doing these monthly and weekly um, planning every so often, you know, once a month or once a week and then it's the actually using it on a daily basis that um, will keep it going and it will help me organise my life so that I can focus on other things which I think is something that a lot of people in the planner community um, their planner is a hobby for them which is great but I think a lot of people forget that planners are supposed to be used to help you be time efficient and organised so that you can focus on other things that are important in your life there's nothing wrong with it being a hobby as long as it doesn't take over your life which I certainly um, can let it sort of take over my time whereas I should be spending it on doing other things like writing my novel and stuff um, but hopefully um, well what my aim is is to get this to a level where it will just work for me and I don't have to worry about how I've set it up or anything it will just organize me so that I can concentrate on things like my novel and stuff okay so um, I use a monthly weekly and daily view the monthly is a normal month spread like that the weekly is a dodo pad mini grid and the daily is a bullet journal style uh, which is like this where I use as much space or as little space as I need for that day and I'm going to talk you through how I use um, each part and all of my um, planning um, techniques that I use so as I said on a monthly basis at the end of the previous month I plan for the next month so this is August so I've already set it up so that you can see how um, it looks once I've done it and I'll talk you through what I do <coughs> So the first thing I do is review monthly appointments. This is my forward planning notebook. I don't have the weeks set out like in a weekly diary or a weekly planner. My notebook is blank until I start writing on that page. It has got no divisions for the weeks. This is where I do all my forward planning. So mainly if there's anything like special for that day, an all day event or an occasion like a birthday, um, if I've got any appointments I write them down in here when I find out about them or else I will forget them um, and um, especially if there's change to my work times like I'm off on Monday and um, on the 13th I've got to go in a bit earlier. So. Um, first thing I do is I review those and anything that needs actioning I can then know that is there so for example this is my brother's birthday and so I know that I've got to get all his presents ready and wrap them etc now I can then go over to my monthly planning page so as you can see I don't usually put much on here I've managed to fit three months into one page but um, I can write it on here or 
um, I've actually written it on my weekly page but that's the sort of thing I can do if I know that I've got something with a definite deadline coming up during that month I can then write it on my monthly page or, or somewhere else that is going to be able to be um, obvious to me because I'm not very good at um, having to hunt for things I need them in front of me I need them obviously there so that I don't miss them and I also um, in this column here I have my monthly to do's if I just have a um, an asterisk that means that I've got to do this to do at some point during this month um, if I've got a date there it's because there's a to do on a specific date so for example on the 14th I've put a blue asterisk which means that um, I look up here and I see on the 14th I've got to hand in my notice because I'm going back to university and on the 18th of September I'm leaving so by the 18th of August I've got to have handed that in um, and um, then I have a look at my monthly reminders so I can transfer these to my monthly page or as I will in a little while transfer it to my weekly page um, I then do my monthly reminders which is things that recur but recur on a specific date so for example this blue dot here um, goes over to here the fourth goes over here to the fourth um, new bus pass so my bus pass last a month so I've got to make sure that I have that one in my bag ready to go for that morning on the bus um, and this one um, matches up to this which is my new eardrops bottle it lasts 28 days and if I use it after that I don't know but it could make my ears worse so I'm going to make sure that I get rid of the old one and open up the new one on that date and um, so that's my monthly reminders now all of these asterisks with numbers here that you can see are my monthly um, recurring tasks so I am not very good at remembering stuff that I need to do I need to keep organized I need to make sure I do them so I have made myself a chart I'm just going to move the camera for a second while I put my planner here okay this is my monthly recurring tasks chart it is um, it looks like a month on two pages but it's a hypothetical month on two pages it's got five weeks no sorry it's got four weeks um, some months have five weeks which created a problem for me before so I worked that out in that I don't think of the first week in a month to be week A and the second week to be week B because sometimes it um, doesn't match up and so that doesn't work what I did then was um, because sometimes the last week of the month could be like this one C instead of D and the, the first week of the month could be D because the previous the previous week was C it's complicated but what I did was in my um, monthly book is I started on January, the first week of January, and I labelled that week A. And then every subsequent week I labelled either B, C, D or A. I went back to A after D. So I didn't go to E. Even though some months have five weeks in them, I just did a, a four week rotation. A, B, C and D. And although I didn't start doing this for the recurring tasks until June, it follows. I didn't want to start in June, I wanted to start in January. Um, so the first week of July was a C then it went D then A, B and then the last week was a C so that means that the, f the remaining um, couple of days from that last week in July because it finishes on a Friday that was week C so the first couple of days of July are week C and then it starts from D again so what I do is I have worked out when I should do these tasks these are my recurring tasks whether they're weekly or monthly and um, I worked out when's the best time to do them so I know for example that I work late on a Tuesday and a Friday so I don't usually put anything in for then and that I need to get a lot done on a Saturday and a Sunday so I scheduled in a lot for then 
and then I, I worked out um, when would be best to do certain tasks like um, a big dust and hoover in my room and stuff like that every other week and things. I just worked it all out when it would be best for me to be able to fit that in and wrote it out on here. So then I come along with my blank monthly spread in my planner like so, a blank one, and I just copy it over. So for example, the first couple of days of August are week C, it's a Saturday and a Sunday, so I copied over Saturday and Sunday from week, sorry, from week C into there. And then the next week is a week D, so I copied over the tasks from week D starting on the 3rd of August. So it works because they're always going to be the same tasks written out. If my life changes, which it will do in September, I can make a new one of these. I will have more stuff to do because I'll be living in halls, but I will be cooking for myself, cleaning, all of this stuff. So I will have different and more tasks to do, but I can easily make up another one of these. And that will make me more efficient because before that I wouldn't know when I last did things like um, change my bed and stuff. I mean I could guess, but I didn't have a specific um, when I need to do it to know exactly when is the best time to do it. I'm, I'm babbling, but that's basically how I plan my monthly recurring tasks. So that is my monthly. I'm now going to um, make a second part to this video and show you how I do my weekly planning. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in a minute.